Hello and welcome to this tutorial on designing relevant communications for your Interact Central Europe project. My name is Frank Schneider. I am the head of the communications unit in our program and will try to inspire you before you start developing your communications in the application form. Before we touch on the application form as such, I would like to take a brief look with you at the very basics of communication planning. Let's start with the communication journey. Communication does not happen in an empty space. It should be linked closely to a bigger thematic objective and will contribute to its achievement. In our projects, this is usually the project-specific objective. Your communication objective should therefore be linked to this, as well as your activities and the contents of your communication. Finally, the results of your communication will then help reaching the project-specific objective. For the communication beginners among you, I would now like to briefly touch on the terminology before digging into the application form. Let's begin with the communication objectives. Communication objectives define a specific change in view of a specific audience. This change can take different shapes. To reach a thematic work package objective, you might need to change how aware a specific target audience is about what you do, how much they know about what you do, how they respond to what you do, or how they behave in view of what you do. Such changes will be achieved through tailored communication activities. Communication activities will ultimately bring coverage. They will make sure you are covered by different channels so that you can reach out to their audience. Channels can take many shapes. They can even be owned by you, like, for example, your website. For example, if you want to inform your usual and well-known stakeholders, it might be a fitting activity to regularly publish news on your own website or to send out a newsletter to these people. You could also organize events to inform and engage them. But if you want to reach out to a wider audience and change the knowledge of or behavior of these people, this will not be sufficient. In that case, you will have to do something that leads to coverage in traditional media or creates high social media interest, for example. One way to achieve this could be, for example, a visit to a pilot site for journalists or social media influencers. These journalists and influencers might then report about this visit and reach a wider audience with this activity of yours. However, there are many more activities that can lead to success. All the before mentioned activities need contents and these contents are usually what you do or what you achieve in your project. In other words, the contents of your project communication will usually be your thematic activities and outputs. This is ultimately the reason why we abandoned the communication work package in the new application form and why we linked communication planning closely to thematic planning. Let's now take a closer look at the application form and how to plan relevant communications there. First of all, good communication starts with having the right people in the right place to do so. This means that the partnership should make sure to engage a strong communication manager who plans and coordinates communication activities across the partnership and work packages. You will have the chance to demonstrate this in the application form in chapter B16. Please choose a competent partner for your communications. The partnership then does not have to develop a communication strategy anymore at least not for us to be checked. We still recommend that at the beginning of the project, the communication manager outlines planned communication activities for the whole project period. They should do so in more detail in the application form and then discuss this with the partnership. But please do not send us the strategy document anymore. Instead, the role and the approach to communication have to be briefly specified in the application form in chapter C73. Here, you will have to outline the general approach to communication according to the guiding questions. 
This has to be in line with objectives and activities in the work plan. And this is only for external communication. For internal communication, please see chapter C71 of the application form. In each work package, projects then have to define a specific change that will be achieved through communication in view of a specific target audience. This change has to ultimately help with reaching the specific project objective. This will look like this in the application form, and one example for an objective could be raise the awareness of five local mayors in participating project regions about project outputs that will help to foster circular economy in their regions. The next step is then the planning of your communication of the activities. Most often, you should describe your activities in the description field of a thematic activity. The communication activity that you plan to implement to contribute to the success of this thematic activity should be described not as a standalone activity, but in this description field. This could, for, as mentioned before, for example, be a journalist visit to a pilot site to encourage press coverage. In rare cases, if a communication activity is a main implementation step of a work package, it should be planned as an activity of its own. This could, for example, be a more comprehensive awareness campaign on social media. Let me give you an example for the first case, what we will expect most often in our project application forms. Linked to the objective of raising the awareness of mayors, as was mentioned before, activities could be, for example, to write a press release to generate press co coverage to increase public pressure on mayors. Or you could send a direct mailing specifically addressing mayors and informing them about a specific thematic activity. Or you invite and involve mayors in the project activity that leads to the output. Last but not least, you could organize meetings with mayors in which you present the thematic activity and many more. All these activities would then be included in the description fields of thematic activities. However, a more complex awareness campaign that will include various of the before mentioned activities and run over a longer period of time and covers more than just one thematic activity within a work package. This could then be defined as a standalone communication activity as well, because this would be a major implementation step. However, there is no right or wrong. This is completely up to you to decide whether it is a big communication activity of its own or whether it contributes to the reaching a thematic activity. And this is what it will look like in the application form. Comms activities that contribute to the success of a thematic activity will be described as part of the activity description of that thematic activity. And comms activities that are essential for this work package as a main implementation step would be a title on their own with a fitting description, obviously. Last but not least, there's the special case of certain must-have activities, which are also further described in the program manual in chapter 3.1.3. These must-have activities are prescribed by EU legislation and shall not be included in the work plan, but they have to be implemented and budgeted for. These activities are the project website hosted on the program website, and this has to be regularly updated, it is project information on beneficiary websites and social media channels. You will have to mention the project and introduce the project on these channels. You will have to put up posters at all the project partner premises. And obviously, you will have to brand all your project activities. Since the communication activities are going to be concretely linked to thematic activities, there's no need to further define communication contents anymore. Contents of communication are the planned thematic activities and achievements of a project. And also communication results need not be defined anymore. 
we believe that communication will contribute to and ultimately help to achieve thematic results. With this, the tutorial is already coming to an end. I hope this presentation could inspire you for developing relevant project proposals with sound communications. In case you have any further questions on communications, please do not hesitate to also get in touch with our help desk at info at interact-central.eu. Thank you for listening and all the best wishes for your project proposal development with partners from all across Central Europe.